music. Hello, are you guys trying to develop your handles today? Well, you guys have came to the right guy. It's your boy here, Jamelli, you feel me? We're here with another video, all right? You know, getting into another shifty video. And you know, we have our best friends right here, the two cones. And we'll be learning how to do behind the backs today, all right? I know if you guys are struggling with your behind the backs, this is pretty much the killers what we'll be going through right now, all right? So as you guys do know, we always go with beginners, then we go to advanced, and then we go to experts, all right? So with the beginning drill, I'm about to hop into that right now. I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share with your grandma, your mom, your auntie, anybody that's trying to get their handles right. Tell them to look at the channel, you know, engage. But all right, y'all, let's get into the first drill. Let's get to it. All right, so um, in this drill, you'll only need one cone. This will be the first drill, of course. You know, we're making it the most beginner as possible. All right, so pretty much what we'll be doing is we're gonna do three pounds, all right, in different dynamics, of course, to understand the body levitation. So you'll first be here in the high point, boom, boom, three pounds. Then you're gonna keep that hand and make sure you're focusing on leaving one hand here, and developing the ball here. And then once you go this way, you switch back to the other hand, make sure you're keeping the opposite hand on here and the ball here. All you got is three sets. We're gonna keep it short and simple. And then after that, you're gonna go to the medium stance. Once you hit the medium stance, the same thing, boom. Then change it, boom. Then you're gonna go to the real low stance. Get down here, boom. Then change it, boom. All right? So it's pretty much simple, all right? So let's get into it. Well, I, I probably will make it a little simple, but yeah. All right, <laughs> anyway, let's get into it, all right? Three sets each. Um, every time you touch, that would be one for one side and one for another side. So you wanna make sure it's three for both hands. Simple. Lose the ball, you already know. 10, five, 10 push-ups. You know, you already know how we get down. All right, ready, steady, yep. One, two, three, two, three, one, 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 two, one, two, three, 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 low, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's it, all right? Now, all you guys wanna make sure is you're just doing three sets for each. That'll basically be your little warm up to get your behind the back warmed in and warmed up. Then you'll switch to the next drill to basically work on it. And then the last drill, the advanced drill, all right? That's it, all right? So the first drill is pretty much done. Um, we're just keeping it simple so you guys can get the dynamics and the basics. Now let's move into step two. All right, y'all, so now we're going to get into drill number two. Drill number two basically is the same appliance as drill number one, but basically you'll be going forward and backwards with two separate cones. So basically you're doing the same different, same dynamics. When you get to this cone, sorry, I would use my right hand. You're supposed to use your left hand when you get to this cone. And then when you're going backwards, make sure you touch your right hand on this one. All right, so I'm pretty much giving you a little example. Get in your most comfortable stance to unlock the your between the legs. You'll use the left here. Boom, 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 boom. You use it right here. Now, remember, all this is working on is just working on eye posture and, of course, also knowing where people are, all right? Because remember, you got to use your eyes. We're not trying to pretty much look down at the ground. So pretty much we're trying to basically look and make sure that our hands are first touching this cone so our eyes will be here. And then once we come back down this way, we're going to look here to make sure our hand is touching this cone too. So this is pretty much developing your body to not look at the ground, all right? That's pretty much it for this drill, all right? So now we're about to do the same. Now this could be applied with any posture you like. You pretty much wanna work on whichever one that is more comfortable for you. So let's get into this drill real quick. You got three sets, all right? So forward and back would be one, forward and back two, forward and back three, all right? Let's make this a little bit more water. This look a little bit too easy. 
Y'all can make it as close as you want to, but you know, if you guys want to work on more of developing your between the legs, make it a little bit wider now. All right, set, go. Keep them tight and low. Left hand here, remember, tight and low. Right hand here, and make sure you're keeping the ball alive, all right? So don't pause. Make sure you're keeping that ball alive, okay? Keep the ball alive. We got two sets now. This is all you're doing. Make sure you're using your eyes here. Now you know, same thing. Boom, now here, all right? We're gonna do four sets for you guys. This will be the last one. Simple as this, all right? And that's it, all right? So pretty much remember, we're just working on eye coordination with the cones, and this is also working on using your active hands while dribbling the ball and keeping the ball alive. So we're throwing three different things at one time. Simple, all right? Um, pretty much this will be helping you swipe the defenders by using your hands and also making sure you're keeping your eyes up. A lot of people don't really use cones, and basically they'll be dribbling like this, and they're not knowing that it's not really helping them develop anything because you're looking at the ground. It's okay to look at the ground, but you gotta use your eyes to know where players are, and of course, just to trick players by just using eye, eye contact in general. So um, that's pretty much it for this drill. Let's hop into the next one. All right, y'all, so here we go. This is the last drill for this video. You guys, make sure you guys are paying close attention to make sure you guys are getting the workout the best way, all right? So there's gonna be a lot of different body changes and movements in this video to develop this behind the back. So make sure you guys are paying briefly close attention, all right? So first thing first, you'll be having the cones facing each other and you'll be having a big wide area in the middle, all right? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand inside of the two cones, all right? And pretty much you're gonna get used to whichever one that you find that is your best one, of course, from the dribble posture in the first drill, all right? So now you're gonna come here, you're gonna find whichever one works for you, right? You're gonna put your outside leg, which is your right leg, over here first. Left leg in, boom, boom, boom. Then same thing, come here, left leg first, right leg, boom, boom, boom. Turn your body this way, and now you're facing back this way, all right? Now you gotta make sure that you guys are facing your body and listening to what I'm saying so you can properly turn your body back the other way to get to facing back forward, okay? So let's get into it, all right? Let me give you all the example so you guys can understand, and then we're gonna hop into these three sets. Forward and back is one. All right, this will be the, probably the most difficult between the legs drill you guys will ever do. All right, set, go. So remember, you're gonna come up here. Boom, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, turn. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five. Now we on set two. Right leg first, one, two, three, four, five. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, turn. Same thing, apply. Five, jump to the left. One, two, three, four, five, turn. Back with it again. This is set three. One, two, three, four, five, jump over. One, two, three, four, five, turn. And here we go again. Right leg, one, two, three, four, five. Jump over to the left, one, two, three, four, five. Turn, back here again. I'm gonna do four sets for y'all so y'all can understand. Jump back over, one, two, three, four, five. Turn, and now we're back down. Here again, right leg, remember. One, two, three, four, five. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five. Turn. And that's it, all right? So, this pretty much will be one of the hardest drills you guys probably will ever do. It works on a lot of durability, footwork, and of course, body control and dribble posture. So it's working on four, three to four different dynamics in basketball, all right? Now, working on body control, coming back and forth, working on footwork, going with the right leg on the right side to put the right leg first, and then, working on this side to put the left leg first. 
all right pretty much this is working on your sweeps boom on this side and boom on that side okay now then you'll be working in coming up making sure you're keeping that control here then jumping back making sure you're keeping that eye contact forward and now you're here all right and look at that you're working on eye contact then you're working on boom change of direction change of speeds by turning your way around and making sure that you are getting back to the next cone that's it for the drill i'm gonna just do the overview right here the first thing we did was we worked on stationary and we made sure that we understand the basic dynamics of doing a behind the back all right for the second drill basically what we did is we use our hand movement durability to use eye contact and also being able to move forward and backwards being able to touch a cone with different hands all right and that's for the last one we worked on footwork body movement eye contact durability and making sure that we are able to get things done in a proper way well guys that's how you guys do a behind the back i hope you guys are going to be masters of this one day all you have to do is these three drills and all you need is two cones you can use anything, honestly. It don't even have to be two cones, but two cones are the best way to get that outer look. But all right, everybody, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I appreciate all the love I've been receiving in the recent videos. All I'm going to say is, always remember, sometimes we're in the dark, but the light, their days will come. One day, right? The lighter days will come one day. Sometimes it takes the dark days to come, for you to see and enjoy what you were experiencing to now see the lighter days. You gotta always go through something to get better at something, all right? So you guys need to understand that. Hard times are the best times. But anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for everything that you guys do for me. And we'll be having another video coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'm out. Hey, 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 peace.